Okay, so we're assuming that this is a sea slug. It's breathing. It's a thing. No matter what we name it, it's a thing. And it's living. How do we get it over there, is the question. Without hurting me. So his conversation is without hurting me. When I touched it, it's super... Um, like I'm hopeful that the ocean will solve this for us, but yeah. it's super... The membrane is super soft. It's unfolding. one of those like people are gonna receive that shit as like <laughs> like the person filming the starving kid the yeah yeah like, exactly put that just shit hope it yeah yeah <laughs> hear me i don't want to actually do it there's a part of me that doesn't want to touch anything slimy like that so but i'm going to do it if the ocean does not do it and if adam does not do it first i'm happy to do it i'm actually worried about hurting it Yes. Like the sliminess doesn't bother me, but when I touched it, yep. it's like super soft and I don't want to pick it up and fucking kill it. All of that makes sense. <laughs> I don't want to kill it by trying to help it. No, no, for sure. That all makes sense. However, I don't really have a rebuttal to that other than <laughs> I don't want to touch it with my own hands. But my suggestion was, was that we use the seaweed that is already here because clearly it is in a conversation with those elements. I love that you, <laughs> you decided right now the moment to think to do is film this. Yes. That's, that's too. This is real life. It's real life. This is real life. And it's going to happen no matter what. It's going in the ocean. The conversation <laughs> is, how? is how. And do we end up harming it by actually interfering? <laughs> I, With, think, I think the move is when there's a little bit of ocean we like <laughs> use yeah. seaweed and we like help it done all right so we're gonna go ahead and do that and i'll get to you on the other side of this we'll see it's gonna live it's living it's living okay we have a real problem we have a real problem right now because I was walking, contemplating where the hell or how the hell we're going to get that thing without harming it. And then I stumbled upon Exhibit A. And this, if you can't tell, is actually breathing. <laughs> Everything's alive, clearly, because anything on the planet is intended here. And it's all one organism. However, to my human capability. This is breathing. And we went from one search and rescue party to now two search and rescue. All the while knowing uh, that Mother Nature, the tide is going out. So like every way we're just hoping it will come in and actually allow us to execute our plan. Mother Nature always wins. Always. However, we can harness, assist. And for those of you thinking, just save it. Just freaking save it. Throw it in the ocean. Yeah, that's about to happen right now. Watch this. Okay, so rescue number one, and it just happened in that moment. I found exhibit A. Let's see here. Oh, this is, yeah, this is also a sea slug. Wow. It's a smaller version, <laughs> but it's definitely, oh, shit, yeah, woo! <laughs> oh my god! That is ridiculously perfect! Holy shit! 
so we've been sitting here for like 20 minutes and the tide is going out and then this massive wave just comes out of nowhere and I'm just so grateful for the medicine that we've been sitting in with this experience and thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know how earlier I said mother nature always wins? <laughs> Point taken. Yeah. However, it's still sitting right there. It's in a different position. <laughs> Dang it. Damn it! No. Right? It is. It's definitely still there. It's just in a different position. Now. Further away. Yeah. It's, it's further away. Now. <laughs> this becomes a moral conversation on many levels. <laughs> Number one, there's also plastic around. Then there's also the conversation of Darwin's idea of survival of the fittest and all that good stuff. And do we intervene? Like there's a guaranteed bunch of living like when we walk on yep. sand what we're walking on mm, is, is things that have died true you know what i mean and so i'm not oblivious to like this and also because of the fact that we recognize it's breathing yes and we now it feels now like now it feels much closer to human experience yes. like i want to intervene versus like the trees, right? That's a big conversation. Why we're cutting down trees in the Amazon at alarming rates. Yes. Because we don't feel that same connection. Boom. And so... Speaking of connection, there was just a fly on me and I just <laughs> tried to... I don't know if I tried to assassinate it, but I definitely <laughs> tried to get it off me. Um, just interesting. Yeah, this is... For me, <laughs> for me, this is so valuable because I feel like this is where so many people are at, like, just right now on the planet. Just like looking at all the things. Yep. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> like, yeah. I want to help. Yes. What do I do? Right? Like, what do I do? And I've seen people try to help and cause harm. Yes. <laughs> And, and like, yes. yeah, it's, it's, this is just like a microcosm for me. And, and no, no, yeah, I'm with you. And for those of you right now are going, well, why, as you're speaking, <laughs> you could just be picking the thing up and putting it over there. It comes back to a, is that, Is it doing more harm? If we pick that up, with how soft it is, mm -hmm. like I, I know that there's, um, like people pick up these things underwater. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if this is one of those things. And so like it's okay, <laughs> like it'll live. Or if it's one of those things like you, you touch. You and put like, your grease on it and now it like can't flourish. I didn't even think about that, but like literally just damaging its insides by like, yeah, by like picking that thing up and how soft it is. I don't know, like I don't want to damage and like put it back in there and now it's like crippled and now it and just it drowns. <laughs> no, it can't no, eat no. and it can't. This is the worst. It's like that's the conversation I'm in. It's like if I pick it up, will I like cripple it? And now I'm like, like, like beating it with a bat, basically, True. and just throwing it in the water. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's that's what's happening. What just popped into my head is uh, the prison systems. Mm. It's like, in the name of helping people, mm -hmm. we take them, we throw them in solitary confinement, we break them. Yep. And then we're just like, here, just like, go back to your home. Go back to your home. That's the good thing to do. We'll just put you back to your home, mm -hmm. but you caused more damn. You know what I mean? Like, yep. 
And so that's what's coming up for me right now in this mm. moment. The idea of harming it and just thinking that I did something good by just putting it back in its home. You just took that real deep. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel you. You know, comedians live on that edge where it's like we can find the joy in the anywhere the funny and then there's like the real heaviness of that same conversation and uh, <laughs> I'm finding <laughs> yeah, I'm finding myself on the edge okay so here we go going back to do it again right well, the plan, I thought the plan was to wait for a wave that yes. could help I'm and gonna, then push it with seaweed. Like, I'm going to assist. Seaweed. Look at that. It has like a, a blowhole. Is this a freaking ray? No. No. <laughs> Definitely no. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Let's just start with... Please don't judge us for not knowing. I mean, judge us, because that's, we all do that. <laughs> However, this is a real conversation. And I want people to understand. That, <laughs> I don't know what this is on right now that <laughs> we're even broadcasting. I don't know. But, but like, someone, <laughs> that, means that it's on your channel. Yeah. So that means that you resonate with who he is as a human being, which yep. I'm here in person with him. So that means that I resonate with who he is as a human being. Yep. And I know how much you care. Mm-hmm. And this is two human beings that care so deeply. Yep. And aren't sure <laughs> exactly the best way to help. We and, and I want... So there may be people who are like, yeah, you can just pick that shit up and put it in the ocean. Yes. And that would be wonderful. Like, is there a way of getting a comment <laughs> from people? right now who might be able to help us yo let's just see if we can just get it closer yeah, but, but this is the plan with the water yeah like i don't think we do it without the water when we get it's it like closer down the sand. <laughs> we get it closer to where the water is going that's the, what we're gonna do but what i'm saying <laughs> I know. I know I may be harming it. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. This is what I'm saying. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Yes. Wait until the wave, like, and then we'll push it. However, this is God's creature. And if it found it, what if this is what it does? Like, what if it does this? Like, what if this is a part of its nature? To be pushed by no, to come up on shore and freaking breathe, and we're having this whole conversation about it not, or needing to go now. <laughs> totally. <laughs> right? Like, what if it was up here to like lay eggs? Yes! Or something like that. No! It just disrupt its whole, its whole like birthing cycle. Maybe no, it's your birth. That's why it's so big. It's just literally giving birth. And, and we've just been like, no, and thrown it back in, and now all the babies die. And, you know what I mean? Like, this, is, <laughs> this is what we can do to ourselves. <laughs> For all you thinkers out there, we feel you, we get you. You can just overthink and overanalyze, and it's real. Like, that's actually a valid freaking point. <laughs> to... <laughs> and then what happens? Well, this is why, uh, like, nature photographers, yep. like, National Geographic, they, they go out into the wild knowing they're going to see, like, hyenas eat baby cubs and, and like, you know True. what I mean? And they basically say, I don't intervene. Yep. Like, I don't intervene. Nature knows. And I'm gonna, and as hard as that is, and that's what makes them so special, <laughs> is to be able to go... And, and just observe nature being nature and like not because any action that we take is from our lens always always and for instance every step that we've taken 
is probably killing something else. Even the gas that it takes to get to see the hyenas and like the shit it actually runs over on the way to getting to see the, the hyenas kill the, the whatever it's killing is all a part of that. So like where do we draw the line? Yeah. It's really all life is. is yep. Where do we draw the line? Yep. Where do we all intervene? Life. Which is a conversation of like ethics, morals, which depends on how you s <laughs> how you were raised because if you were raised you know maybe let's say with an idea that you are have dominion over the the animals which is you know some scripture then who gives a fuck and are we taking that now like are we are we coming from I'm the God figure here. Mm -hmm. I have dominion over you because I can. Mm. And I'm going to decide for you to live. Assuming that we've just made the distinction it's going to die if we don't do something. Exactly. Like, are we still playing that, that God role here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go back to what is. So what I'm observing is that there is a blob that I would like to name. Right? And this is what we do as humans. We want to name shit. Samuel. Samuel. Leroy. I would like to name the blob and then therefore have information maybe on Wikipedia or something oh, like that. No. <laughs> I'd like to name that, right? However, there's a blob and the blob appears to be breathing. Definitely breathing, not appears to be, it's definitely breathing. breathing. According to our perception of what breathing looks like. True. Right? Because technically, the rock is breathing too. The seaweed is breathing as well. However, to our quote unquote naked eye, we cannot see that. Therefore. <laughs> so I'm seeing a blob that appears to be breathing conversation that we've had for 14 minutes and if you include the other 20 <laughs> is whether to intervene with the blob and I know there are people like on a deeper conversation yep how many people right now you're watching this the whole time you're getting so triggered <laughs> because you're like, just pick it up and put it in the ocean and and I'd invite you to, to take a deeper look at where you may be also just boom <laughs> and stepping into something without taking a deeper look at what's there. Yep. It's like that conversation. I think Jack Cornfield talks about this in, uh, I don't know the name of his book. It's like After the Laundry, like, Something, whatever it is. He talks about how... <laughs> after, after something they laundry. Yeah. yeah. About how there is this... Maybe this was in Chicken Soup. <laughs> Wherever it's <laughs> from. a lot of books. Yes. Uh, it's a conversation about somebody who got on a train in New York. And these kids were acting absolutely crazy. And the person noticing the kids acting crazy quotes crazy had a judgment about the dad and what the dad should be doing and eventually the person got upset enough to say something sir do something about your kids and the Dad replied, oh, I'm so sorry. We just came from their mother's funeral. Uh, she just died and the kids are processing and I'm completely unaware. I'm so sorry. Now the shift in, 
and the judgment instantly changed when we have more context for the why. Adam introduced the idea that maybe this creature is laying eggs right now, which shifted my perception about whether I should push this thing back into the ocean immediately. <laughs> is any of that true? No clue. But it's, it's such an indication of literally how we're going through life. Like everything is, what is the context that we are giving to every situation? So like, is this birthing? Is this dying? Those are two very- <laughs> Oh my God. Like, uh, like, 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 <laughs> what a question. Like the context is everything. And, and the truth is, that we have no idea. Nope. We have no idea. And we're two loving human beings. <laughs> yeah, we we're actually good hell? people. We're actually we good out. people. And that's the, the thing <laughs> is, here's the thing. With what's going on in this country right now, yes, yes. I want to remind you that behind all of it are good people. Yep. Like, with, with good intentions. Yeah, everyone's right? doing the best that they can to create the world that they and their kids and like, like they're doing the best they can. And and sometimes working. your best is not actually good enough. <laughs> However, that's a true statement in my book. <laughs> Some of you may be going, well, your best is kind of shitty right now because you could just pick the freaking sea slug or whatever. You guys know what it is. We don't know what it is. And. Is the any... plan, I think the plan, my yeah. plan, what I'm resigned to, <laughs> yes. is when water gets high enough, I'm going to use what's around it naturally, its natural environment, to assist it in getting closer. This is a very logical plan. <laughs> <laughs> and as... Can I ask you a question? Yes? You know where the uh, yes. Right behind that blue tower. Much. Yep. So... Take this whole scenario, even her asking where she could relieve herself, as what's probably going on in the heads of everybody you know. <laughs> Not necessarily about a blob that we have named a sea slug, but about life itself, about black kids being shot by the police about our ideas about whether that's true or not about feminism about ageism sexism I mean you can just list all the isms and we're probably all having that conversation and it's pretty tricky so he just actually gave a very logical, beautiful statement. And I am going to play just for heaven's advocate's sake, the other side of that and go straight primal. What is necessary? What is my gut telling me outside of logic? Is this laying eggs <laughs> or is it dying? I'm gonna make that gut choice and push this thing towards the ocean. Now while I do that, some of you may be going, oh my god, look at it. Like, what? This is amazing. First of all, God is amazing. Whatever God you believe in, whatever thoughts you have about creation, like, whoa. <laughs> it's getting closer to the ocean. I want to I gotta, I gotta stop you. Okay. I <laughs> Tell me why I should stop pushing this towards where I believe its home is. Because it, it's hurting my heart yes. to see it tumble across <laughs> dry, dry land. Yes, but you, that's perceiving that you, it has bones like we do. Right? Like, there's the ocean. It didn't make it. That thing didn't make the cut. And there's a lot of... 
you know, like there's the starfish story of that girl who's like, well, why are you picking up all these damn starfish? Because there's millions and they're all gonna die. And she said, well, it makes a difference to that one. So here we are. I have fumbled this blob. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry if I'm hurting this. <laughs> However, it is now in position. If it wants to come back later and lay eggs, go for it. Oh, oh, there we go. Come alive, buddy. It's getting closer and closer to its natural habitat, in my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so to, to him, I'm terrible. However, boom, let's see what happens. Yes, yes. Oh, make it, make it. There we go, getting sucked out. Okay, boom. Okay. Hold on. Wow. <laughs> my, my, greatest, my greatest hope to all you mothers out there is that was not birthing. We did the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? We did the best that we can. This is the, this is the decision we came to. Oh my God. <laughs> that would be so shitty on my consciousness. <laughs> However, I have to assume that that's what was necessary. And I'm gonna live with it. <laughs> I'm gonna live with it. Just so you guys know, as <laughs> someone on the ground zero here, Yep. I also felt like it was necessary to put it back in the ocean. Boom. <laughs> Obviously, yes. we've been having this conversation because we think that's what- four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that's what is <laughs> the decision we've been just trying to figure out how to make happen. Yes. Um, you and I may disagree on the- <laughs> The, on the means, on the means of which to make it happen, but that's that's beautiful. Which is, I mean, in essence, all of life, right? Yeah. So, like, for instance, the death penalty, or mm. putting people in cages, and putting them by themselves and saying, "Oh, that's how you reform a criminal," is it? Or like locking people up who are mentally ill or are addicted to drugs? Mm. Holy crap! Right? We have different conversations about that in our plan, and you and I agree on that. It doesn't make us right. And um, I think that's what's beautiful about the planet, right? Like, can you imagine how boring this planet would be if like everyone just agreed on everything? Yeah, it would be. You know what I mean? Like, where's the growth? Like, literally the growth, we've been in conversation <laughs> before this happened um, across our experience and reflecting back opposing viewpoints, not even just because we believe them, but just because that's where growth happens. Yep. Is like, what are these other angles to look at a situation from? Mm. And so, um, mm. I, I love the fact that there are people who, who view the world differently. Thank you, because I don't think I'm like right. And it's really a conversation of like, I don't know what these comments have been, like, who's yelling at us? You know what I mean? Like, who's yelling? Some of and you hate us. Wow, look at Mother Nature. Get it. Do it, Mama. And let's stop calling her Mother Nature. How about we just call her Nature? <laughs> or It Nature? How about we do that? It's just nature. We don't have to assign genitals and all that stuff and gender roles to nature. Nature does and is outside of our human understanding about what it should be doing at the time that it does. We are a part of nature, not separate from it, a part of it. However, <laughs> we are you know, another organism that's a part of it that if it wants to shake us off or freeze us out or freaking whatever it needs to do or flood us out, it will. And, and I always bring up this point, which is like, we don't look at an anthill mm. and go, that's unnatural. <laughs> we, we don't look at a beaver dam and go, that's unnatural. Yes. We say that's nature. And as human beings, 
we have like obviously mm -hmm. this desire to build it's what makes us special mm. and we are building these incredible cities and structures and like I love I consider that nature just as much like in the same way that I see an anthill or yep. a beaver dam I'm like yo these cities are us being nature and, <laughs> and oh. How, how do we, like when we have the consciousness level to recognize that it's not sustainable, where, where now like we're damn, like that's the difference, like mm. a, 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 a beaver is going to make its damn mm -hmm. whether it's, and I don't even know where I'm speaking from of this, like can a beaver build a dam in a way that, that doesn't, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, can can, yes. a, can a beaver build a dam that is actually not helping it? You know what I mean? Like, yes. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yes. And and it just does it because it's instinctual. Yep. And I yes. think as human beings right now, we have a consciousness that allows us yep. to be like, whoa, the way that we're doing this. Yeah. Because we have this innate part of us that is nature. Clearly not working. Not working. <laughs> It's not working. However, it is working in certain aspects, certain domains, certain places. And I would say, for the, all of you who don't necessarily have the intellect to... No, I'm not, let me say that differently. For those of you who are having a hard time keeping up with this conversation, real talk. Because I think I would have a hard time keeping up with this conversation. We're jumping, a, like, <laughs> we're going huge leaps from like, boom. Boom, boom, right? And it takes somebody with a actual, like, some life. I actually lost my point, and that's even more genius. Like, <laughs> life, life's, it gives no Fs, and it will continue whether we think these thoughts or not. What I'll say to this is the. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know what just happened. What? <laughs> I, I, I have given a lot of deep, meditative thought to everything that I'm talking about right now. So, when like when I talk about. Yes. Humans and, and cities and nature and like making that comparison. Yep. I'm speaking from a place of hours and hours <laughs> of like pondering that. <laughs> and so I think Preston's point is that like we may be introducing concepts for like the very first time and just jumping from one to the next. Wait. Like, what? I haven't even. And that's awesome. And my invitation to you is not to try and and keep up necessarily yep. because I'm just going into where my mind has spent <laughs> so much time already. And so my invitation to you is take the spark, take the spark of whatever this conversation is mm -hmm. and go, whoa, and do your own excavating. One hundred. Oh. And by the way, and we're gonna end on this, if you made it this far into the video, you are one awesome human being. Yeah. If you didn't make it, it's all good, but you wouldn't be hearing us say You're, you didn't yeah. make it. This is, this is the payoff, I guess. We love you. We love you. You're awesome. Really awesome. And this is what I would like to leave you with. Mm. Is these are the types of conversations that Preston and I have every time we get together. Truth. This is, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Like we're giving you a snapshot into what it looks like to be in an expansive friendship mm. and surrounded by people who expand you. And so if, if you're not having that offline somewhere 
I encourage you to find it. I encourage you to see where in your life you can get together with people and have these types of conversations and mm. not necessarily agree on everything, but explore it together. Woo! We love you. You are seen, you are heard, and you are loved. No sea slugs were harmed during this video. And that other thing. And the other thing, we love you equally. Yes! The other thing. <laughs>